Hey everyone, this is Esteban Gill from Steel and Flint Society and today I'm going to show you a really cool trick. So if you use off-camera flash and you're constantly having to clone out your light stand or assistant out of your images, there's an amazing trick that you can do that'll save you a ton of time and it'll definitely save you some frustration. So stay tuned and let me show you. All right, let's get right to it. So the purpose behind what we're doing here is to make sure that we have an easier way to Photoshop our assistants out. So a lot of the work that I like to do is very environmental. So I wanna make sure I focus on backgrounds. And when I'm using off camera flash, you're dealing with a light stand or an assistant being in the shot. So uh, the thing that I like to do is I like to make sure that I take two images of the same scene. So this helps me do something called masking out in Photoshop where it allows me to take my assistant out of the image in a very seamless and simple way. So it sounds overwhelming and it sounds difficult, but it's actually not, and I'll show you how. The first step to everything is to edit in Lightroom. Uh, for this image, uh, I'm actually gonna use our unreleased Steel and Flint presets, uh, which I might be a little biased, but they're beautiful. Well, duh. So for this, I'm actually just gonna bring up my shadows just to bring out the background a little bit more. Just really love the overall colors of this, so. Uh, we, ha we do have the second image, which is the one without my assistant. And I am gonna wanna make sure that it looks the same as my main image. So for that, I'm gonna sync them both together. I'll sync, uh, do the exposure, synchronize. And now they look the same as far as coloring and exposure goes. Obviously this one with the couple is not lit, so they look a little bit darker than, than they would in the first one. Uh, but the overall ambient looks to be just about the same as far as exposure goes. So the next step would be to select both images. And I'm gonna right click on them, go to edit in, and instead of jumping right into Photoshop, I'm actually just gonna go into open as layers in Photoshop. So what this does is it actually imports them into Photoshop as layers stacked on top of each other. Okay, so now that we're in Photoshop and we have both layers in our layers panel, uh, one thing that you might wanna think of this as is almost as if you're stacking one paper on top of each other. So this is my top paper, this is my bottom paper. So when I go to my top paper and I erase this, that means that my bottom paper is what's gonna be showing. So the idea and what we wanna achieve here is to almost like rip off this piece here of the top paper and only show the bottom paper. So if we can get them lined up properly, it'll show a seamless transition between the top and the bottom layer. Now, how do we line them up? So most people will actually go to opacity. They'll bring the opacity down and they'll try to manual line them. One of the things that most people don't know is that Photoshop is a very powerful tool and you can actually tell it to align both images for you. And you can even do multiple images as well, which is something I do with my composites, even though I do hand hold most of these shots. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both layers. And when both layers are selected, just go up to edit and go to auto align layers. So once I'm in auto align layers, just keep this on auto, hit okay. And then Photoshop is just gonna work its magic and it's gonna align both layers properly. And it's sort of like having a digital tripod. It's just this amazing algorithm that's able to analyze whatever images you throw at them. And if they're similar, it'll try to align them as best as possible. So let's see what the results are. Perfect. Uh, what you see here on the right is just the amount of movement that was made by me while taking the images. Now that both images are aligned and we know that whenever we mask my assistant out, they're gonna be aligned, uh, the next step would be to just select the top piece of paper or layer and go to add layer mask. So this basically is where I'm gonna tell Photoshop what I wanna delete from my top layer. Uh, this is a white mask, so you wanna make sure that this is black. And the next step would be to go to my brush tool. So once I have my brush tool selected, I'm just gonna start brushing my assistant, who also happens to be my beautiful wife, or my light stand, depending on how you shoot. Some people like to bring an assistant, some people like to just do a light stand. But either way, as long as you take two images, you're able to Photoshop them out in just a matter of seconds. 
and that's it you're done you don't need to do any cloning you don't need to do any intensive photoshopping it's a matter of just taking that extra step to take your plate shot so that you can have that main image to use as a mask uh, to be able to get your assistant out of the original image i hope this helped feel free to give us a like and, and subscribe uh, if you want to take things a little bit further you feel free to join our facebook group at steel influence society wedding photography education and i will talk to you all later thank you